What's up YouTube, Oliver from Deck TV here. Today I'm going to be reviewing iShowUHD. iShowUHD is a screen capture program for Mac OS X. If you do have an older version of Mac, iShowU does offer a version called iShowU Classic which is compatible with most older versions. And there's also a version of iShowU called iShowU HD Pro which is, is basically this but with a few extra features. I'm actually recording the screen using ScreenFlow because I couldn't physically use iShowU to record the screen because all of the uh, interface was greyed out. However, I will uh, include a preview of some sample footage taken with iShowU HD near the end of the video so you can actually see the quality of it. So this is the main application itself and by the way I've turned preview off because it interferes if you can imagine what it's like. It shows a preview of the program but it's sort of constantly mirrored. Um, so I've turned that off but otherwise you can have a preview window so it shows you the desktop. And to start off with you've got some uh, mouse modes and you can have fixed and uh, fixed slash stretch, follow, follow slash stretch and slide. The mouse mode is basically, I recommend having it on fixed so it shows the whole screen but if you had it set to follow it would zoom in on the mouse and only show you the area where the mouse was. So, for instance, if you wanted to do a detailed tutorial where you had it zoom in on the mouse and things, you would just tell it to follow. Although I recommend having that on fixed. Some of these grayed out options are because these are only available in Pro, as you can see. Custom background uh, lets you choose a custom desktop background. You just check that on and go to choose. Mouse options, you can have it uh, make sound on click and you've got a couple of different options and likewise here and you can choose colours because it sort of it basically this is what these are blob and halo these aren't these aren't sounds by the way these are effects and this is the colour so for instance if you had a halo it shows a ring when you click the mouse so people can see what you're clicking and the same for right click the show keys pressed in recording is, uh, it's locked, it's a pro feature, but it's checked on by default. So I suppose that might be annoying if you didn't have the HD Pro version. It's not massively bad because it will come in useful, but you can't turn that off, I believe. It's, as you can see, it's also grayed out at the top. And camera options. You can record with the webcam, but you can't pick which webcam. It just uses the default one, unless you have pro, in which case you can choose which camera to use. And then you've got options to record audio from applications or monitor audio which basically just shows you the audio level and the volume uh, here. And the same with the microphone or external input, you choose whether you want to record sound from input device and then I have mine set to built-in microphone and as you can see the uh, audio levels are here. And the video format, and these are my recommended settings, I have the format on H.264 although you've got a few other options, and have the quality all the way to the very end and the size 1920 by 1080 which is the resolution for a full 1080p HD uh, movie for YouTube. And then the audio format, I don't normally play around with that but you've got lots of other options there as well. And of course the option to mix to a single two channel stereo AAC track. Up here you've got some options on the toolbar. The capture area is whether you want to capture the entire screen or whether just you want to just capture a small section of the screen. And I normally have that just set the same as uh, Display 1, which is my um, IMAX display. But you can choose a custom size or uh, choose some of the predefined pre ones. The output video is what size it will appear. Basically it's just the same as this. Whatever this is, it will change up here and vice versa. And you can do... Uh, things up here like change the capture size, set size, or I have mine would have mine uh, either the same as capture size, or I have mine set to the HD, uh, 1080p HD format, so it's the right size. Once again, you, you can just change for this is just another way of uh, accessing the video format and frame rate, and mouse mode again, which we looked at down here. And this allows you to automatically configure whether you want application sound on or off, and camera, etc across the top and then when you're ready to record you can go to record and you've got uh, media here so you can import media and you've got some advanced options which actually um, I think are pro only and publishing options so you can just drop your recordings into there and this is called one click publishing and it allows you to just drag your recordings in and publish them straight to the web 
Now you can also record, or sorry, upload straight to, which is one click publishers what I looked at before, but you can upload to Blip TV, Howcast, and YouTube directly from the software. Um, and these things which are greyed out would uh, actually not be greyed out if I had a recording in this bar down here. Let me just, uh, because it would let me show where it was in the finder, etc. And the way uh, I show you HD works is there's a folder that it creates in your movies file where all your recordings are saved after they've been recorded. And once again, these are just menus with all the same options that were looked at before. Show toolbars and that kind of thing. And you've got um, your window. And then once again, help. And this is what I show you looks like when it's recording and it would start capture toggle camera you obviously you've got your show main window and preferences and it does have the, the time but you can turn that off if you don't want the elapsed time for instance if you didn't want people to see if you had cut the video okay so this is a sample screen recording using I show you HD for the Mac okay well that was my review of I show you HD a Mac screen recording application Thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, thumbs up and subscribe to the Tech TV channel. Bye for now.